Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over four worked examples to show you how to do problems involving pressure. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get into it. Question 1 says that a crate of mass 25kg is resting on a flat surface of area 2 meters squared. Part A says to find the force the crate exerts on the surface. Well, we first need to realise that the force here is given by the weight of the crate, because remember weight is a type of force. So we can write down what we're trying to find, which is the force which we can make equal to the weight, and we know the mass is 25 kilograms, and the gravitational field strength G on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram from the data sheet. So writing down our equation relating weight, mass, and gravitational field strength, we have W equals mg. Substituting in the numbers, we have 25 times 9.8, which if you put into your calculator should give you an answer of 245 newtons. Part B then says to find the pressure the crate exerts on the surface. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the pressure P. We know the force now is actually due to the weight, which is 245 newtons from part A, and the area was given as 2 meters squared in the question. So writing down our equation relating pressure, force and area, we have P equals F over A. Substituting in the numbers gives us 245 divided by 2, which if you put into your calculator gives you a final answer of 122.5 pascals. You could also say 122.5 newtons per meter squared, as the units of pascals and newtons per meter squared are equivalent. Question 2 says that the pressure exerted by the air in a room is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals, which is also atmospheric pressure. One of the walls measures 4 meters by 3 meters. Calculate the force exerted on the wall due to the air. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the force F, we know that the pressure P is 1.0 times 10 to the 5 pascals, and the area will be given by the length times breadth from these measurements, so we have A equals the length times breadth, which is 4 times 3, which equals 12 meters squared. So writing down our equation, we have P equals F over A. Rearranging for the force F, we can multiply the pressure and the area together to get F equals PA. Substituting in the numbers now gives us 1.0 times 10 to the 5 times 12, and if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 1.2 times 10 to the 6 newtons, or you could just see that you're going to have 12 times 10 to the 5, which is the same as 1.2 times 10 to the 6 newtons. Question 3 says that a candle of mass 255 grams rests on a table. The pressure that the candle exerts on the table is 300 pascals. What is the area of the candle in contact with the table? Well, what we need to realise here is just like in question 1, the force here is given by the weight of the candle. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the force, or the weight here, we know that mass is 255 grams, which we can rewrite in kilograms as 0.255 kilograms, and our gravitational field strength G on Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilogram from the data sheet. So writing down our equation relating weight, mass, and gravitational field strength, we get W equals mg. Plugging in the numbers gives us 0.255 times 9.8, and putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 2.5 newtons. However, we're not done, remember, because we're trying to find the area. So writing down what we know from the question, we're trying to find the area A. We know the pressure from the question is 300 pascals, and the force F is 2.5 newtons from above. So writing down our equation relating pressure, force, and area, we have P equals F over A. Rearranging for this A here, we can actually just swap the P and the A around to get A equals F over P. And substituting in the numbers gives us 2.5 divided by 300. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 8.3 times 10 to the minus 3 meters squared. Lastly, question 4 says that a block has the dimensions shown. So you can see we've got a length of 0.4 meters, a width of 0.1 meters, and a height of 0.2 meters. And it says that the block is placed so that one of the surfaces is in contact with a smooth tabletop. The weight of the block is 4.90 newtons. Calculate the minimum pressure exerted by the block on the tabletop. Well, what we first need to look at is these keywords, minimum pressure. So we can say that minimum pressure occurs for a surface with maximum area. Because remember, the bigger the area, the smaller the pressure. And the fact that the force here is given by the weight of the block. So we need to choose the two dimensions and multiply them together that are going to give us the maximum area. So that that gives minimum pressure. So the two biggest numbers here will be 0.4 times the 0.2 to give me an area. So it's actually going to be one of these surfaces with the biggest area that gives the smallest pressure. So we can write the maximum area as A equals 0.4 times 0.2 which is the same as 0.08 meters squared, so you could put that into a calculator. So then to calculate the minimum pressure, we can say that the pressure P is what we're trying to find, the force is given by the weight in this case, which is 4.90 newtons, and the area we've just worked out is 0.08 meters squared. So writing down our equation relating pressure, force, and area, we have P equals F over A, 
Substituting in the numbers gives 4.90 divided by 0.08, which gives a final answer of 61 pascals. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.